Hey guys, we're going to be looking at um, areas between two curves in this session. Let's get started. All right, just to get an idea of um, how this works, I'm just going to put a graph up here. I've got two, um, two graphs there, two functions, and I want to find this shaded region here. So I guess the first thing I'm going to say is the top function here is going to be called f of x, and the bottom function here is going to be called g of x. And the two intervals, I'm going to call one of them B and the other one A. So if this is the case, um, according to definite integrals, what you can do is integrate f of x between B and A and then integrate g of x between B and A and subtract it from one, one another. But of course, the shortcut way of writing this would be integral of between B and A, but you can actually do it in one line. You can have f of x minus g of x. So I guess the other way of looking at this would be basically instead of f of x and g of x is looking at the top function minus the bottom function. Yeah, that's basically the concept guys. We're going to have a look at an example now. Here's the question. Calculate the area to the right of the y-axis that is enclosed by f of x, which is e of x, g of x, which equals cos x, and the line x equals pi. So if I was to draw this graph, as you can see, e of x is the graph that's going up. Cos x, as you can see on the red line at the bottom there, it's kind of has that periodic thing happening. And we are looking for the shaded region, which is between 0 and the line pi. So, according to our, let me just write this up, y equals e of x, and the bottom function is cos of x. So with that in mind, we know that the integral is between pi and 0, and we'd have f of x minus g of x dx. Substituting these things, we'd have e of x minus cos x dx. So at this point, I need to integrate this function. e of x, when you integrate it, is just e of x. And negative cos x, when we integrate it, we're going to get negative sin x. And of course, we have to put those square brackets, and it's between pi and 0. So now you need to substitute pi into where x is and 0 and find out what they are. So we're going to get e of pi minus sine of pi. Sorry, it went too fast. Let's try that again e of pi minus sine of pi, take away e of 0 minus sine of 0. Okay, so at this point we should have e of pi minus sine of pi is equal to 0. Uh, what else we have? Take away e of 0 is equal to 1, and sine of 0 is equal to 0. So simplifying this, we are going to get e to the power, or e pi, take away 1. which when we round it up, we're going to get 22.14. Okay, so the shaded region in there is 22.14. That's basically the idea behind this thing. Alright guys, hopefully you guys got the hang of um, area between two curves. And that's all from this session. Thanks for watching.